Hey fam, and welcome back to the channel. And I just wanted to come by to talk about a little story that happened today about Miss Tamar Braxton. I mean, first, Tamar Braxton was calling out Candy Burris and Todd Tucker about threatening her, allegedly. But she finds herself smack dab in a medical condition, a medical emergency, and she was hospitalized. People Magazine got it out for us to partake of, and they gave us a heading of Tamar Braxton rushed to the hospital after shopping with friends. I thought God was taking me home. I said, honey, boom, honey, boom, honey, boom, boom, boom. Uh, no, Tamar. You didn't think God was taking you home. No, you didn't. Stop lying. Same way people still thinking you kind of like maybe had something to do with your sister Tracy's death, allegedly. That's all I'm saying. But we're going to move on into the story that she couldn't wait to tell because who in their right minds will be taping themselves, filming themselves when they are in a medical emergency. Can anyone make sense out of that? Can anyone make complete sense, sense out of that? Okay, we got the story by, Sh oh, come and see. Uh, Najib is his last name. And Sh Sh Shakur or Sharik, something like that. But he was writing it for People Magazine, okay? Um... Tamar claims she said she could not breathe and my chest was on fire. Tamar Braxton wrote of the health scare she experienced amid the holiday season. Tamar Braxton is opening up about a health-related emergency she experienced uh, on Friday. The TV personality shared an update on her Instagram, telling her followers that she was rushed to the hospital after spreading some time with her friends ahead of Christmas. This isn't an attention post. This is an attention post in bold letters, meaning attention. She wrote, literally, I was with my best friends, Norman and Wardell, shopping and doing Christmas fun-ish. And the very next day, I had to be taken to the hospital by ambulance, needing oxygen because I thought God was taking me home because I could not breathe and my chest was on fire. But Tamar, could it been heartburn? Could it be anxiety? Because a lot of people have anxiety around the holidays for whatever reason, baby. Okay, but she goes on to say that she needed medical attention. I'm like, Tamar, Tamar, Tamar. And she gets on her Instagram, okay? She says, I was taken to the Northside Hospital and was met by the best nurses and doctors, including the real Jackie, to find out what was wrong. Y'all, I have the flu. And let me tell you, it's worse than over, in my opinion. She explained, I'm on five different medications. Please be careful. I wasn't around a lot of people. I had no idea where it came from. Enjoy y'all holiday at home. You don't want this. Oh, yeah, I'm completely isolated because it's hell of a cat contagious. I love you all for real. Okay, them her friends, she was calling herself having lunch with, spending time with, and shopping with. And none of them got no masks on. So, of course, Tamar, what do you think? You did it to yourself, babe. Just because you're out there living carefree and you think you ain't around people that may be carrying the virus or whatnot. You are laughing and, and, and probably coughing and all that stuff. And it just caught up with you, baby. Okay? Wear your mask, Tamar. Wear your mask. You don't know where all these people been in here. They don't even know where you been. So y'all just cross-contaminating each other and getting sick and didn't want to tell, give us a, a per public service announcement of what we should be doing. Really, Tamar? Mind your business, Tamar. Mind your business, okay? But finishing up on her post, she said one clip from the post shows Braxton laughing while hanging out with a friend seemingly prior to the health scare. And another selfie, Braxton can be seen wearing her mask while sitting in a hospital bed. Now, ain't that a trip? Mm, ain't that a trip, trip? Tamar, you do some of the dumbest shit that really shouldn't even be publicized. I mean, how in the world are you going to tell somebody else? And you sitting up in this, these pictures. Did y'all all have a COVID test that all y'all could compare to each one 
one of you all to see that you didn't have it? No, you didn't. You just out there coughing, laughing, he heeing, spit coming here, spit going there, spit around everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Because you can cough, you can sneeze, you can do everything in the atmosphere, and somebody can walk in there thinking they are safe walking in the uh, on the earth around in the midst of the air. Nope, it was very cold in Atlanta today, Friday the 23rd. It was very, very cold. All right. So, Tamar, you have no excuse, none at all. And with your past medical history, you would think you would be a little more, uh, what do you call it, coherent, for lack of a better word, prepared to take on everything that's out there. You need to prep yourself. You need to be prepared to wear your mask when you go out. It's okay to be out with your friends and doing this, that, and the third. But laughing, cackalacking all the way around here uh, in the city of Georgia. It's cold out there, too. And it's a shame because I was out there, too. I was in Walmart and Charlie wasn't hardly nobody wearing their mask. I was like, not me. Mm-mm. Not me today. Mm-mm. I'm going to stay away. I'm going to keep my distance, and I'm going to have my mask on. I had my little furry um, knit cap on and with my cashmere um, sweater, not sweater, but a uh, scarf around my neck, girl, yes. And it still was making me say, it's time to go in the house, okay? It's time to get out these streets and carry my ass home. But, yeah, Tamar out there, you see what she's doing? You see her in the picture? She ain't wearing no mask. See, if most people got turned away because they could physically be said that they didn't uh, protect themselves enough with the protective equipment we have out there, such as masks and gloves and all that good stuff. And a shield if you want to make it extra. Uh, Tamar didn't do none of these things. So see, I, I really have a bad problem. I have a, I have a, what do you call it, a real Achilles heel about people take their life for granted. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and the public officials are still saying, wear your mask out there. And with flu season that's being prevalent among, you know, the different states and stuff, the reason why you're catching it because you're not wearing a mask. The reason why we didn't have a bad flu season for the last two years is because people were wearing their masks. They could not contaminate somebody else from walking in the airspace that we all have to travel through. And now you're sitting up here talking about, Public service announcement. Wear your mask. Stay healthy. Dress for the weather. No, Tamar. Too little, too late. Too little, too late, baby girl. Ain't nobody trying to follow you or listen to any of your uh, public service announcements you want to give us about healthy living. Because you were not there. You were not there doing the darn thing. Wearing your protective equipment. Personal protective equipment, PPE, as the hospitals would like to abbreviate, abbreviate it as. Make no darn sense. You got to be a woman of your word, put the shit in practice, and maybe, just maybe, people will look at you as not necessarily a role model, but a good citizen out there that's trying to do their due diligence. <sighs> But again, Tamar just being Tamar, Tamar just being an attention seeker she always wants to be. And uh, instead of being in her music career, make sure that pop off and wear her mask. But that's all I got for this particular video. Ain't got no more. I'll see you on the next one, y'all. Bye-bye.